If your laptop display suddenly has horizontal or vertical green lines on it, it can be a worrying thing. My name is Adullah. You're watching Gadot Technology, and in this video, we're taking you through a few fixes that you can try out. Well, the first thing that you need to do is actually open up your PC's BIOS. If your laptop appears fine in the BIOS and not in Windows, then proceed with the rest of the video. Otherwise, uh, it's most likely a screen issue and you need to go visit a technician or a repair shop. If your BIOS appears fine though, boot into Windows and uh, what we're going to do is update the GPU drivers first. Now, based on whether you have an NVIDIA, AMD or Intel GPU, you're going to have to use the appropriate utility. I have an NVIDIA card, so I am going to use that particular uh, tool. So just search for the NVIDIA app, open it up, head over to drivers. And then in here, uh, you can just click this button to check for the latest driver. If uh, you already have the latest driver installed, you can go ahead and do a reinstall just to make sure that uh, everything is working and uh, make sure that you do a custom installation uh, and check the clean installation button so this resets everything to uh, the default values and should fix your problem if that doesn't work you can also try checking your display settings now to find them press windows key plus i to open windows settings head over to system then display and in here if you have multiple monitors first select the monitor that's causing this issue uh, scroll all the way down and uh, once you're here make sure that the scale and the resolution are set to their recommended values um, once that is taken care of then come to advanced display and if your monitor supports a higher refresh rate make sure you go ahead and you run it on that um, I can as you can see I can run this monitor on a bunch of different frame rates but I run it on 144 Hertz because that is the maximum that it allows so check your resolution scaling and refresh rate settings if these are out of order uh, some banding can happen on monitors uh, the next thing you can try is to do a clean boot just to, to make sure no other services or programs running on your system are interfering with what you're trying to do now to do this press windows key plus r to open up the run prompt and in here type in msconfig and press enter now, once uh, system configuration has booted up, head over to services, click on hide all Microsoft services and then disable everything that you see. You can just use this disable all button. Once that is done, head over to startup, then click on task manager. And then in here, disable all of the startup apps that you have on your system. Once these two things are taken care of, you can close down start manager, uh, task manager and you can restart your PC. If uh, your Windows display or monitor appears fine without any banding, then there is a very good chance that some service that you're running is interfering with your display drivers and hence causing the issue. If that does not fix your problem either, uh, it can be one of two issues. You either have uh, the ribbon cable that runs between your laptop's motherboard and your display. Either that is faulty or the display itself is faulty. In either cases, you're going to have to take it to a computer repair shop and have a professional look at it in order to be able to tell you what's exactly the problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology. Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.